Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. It is Saturday, October 22nd, 2022. And here is the integral for the day. We have definite integral from 0 to 1, y times tan inverse of y dy. So right away I notice, okay, we've got a product of two functions. Seems like perfect time to utilize integration by parts. Um, let's decide who's going to be u, who's going to be dv. Well, best choice would be to let tan inverse of y be u. And, well, that's because if it was dv, we don't really know. It's antiderivative so nicely. And then that would make du 1 over 1 plus y squared dy. That one should just be memorized. And then v is going to be y dy. And, I mean, dv would be y dy, making v the antiderivative 1 half y squared. Lovely. So now we can rewrite this integral, definite integral, as u times v. So that would be, I'm going to put 1 half y squared in the front. Doesn't that look better? Times tan inverse of y. This is not going to get integrated. This is just evaluated at some point from 0 to 1 minus v du, this product here. So I'm going to pull that constant out. I like doing that. We have 1 half times the definite integral from 0 to 1, y squared over 1 plus y squared dy. Now I am a stickler, especially with my students. You have to write the limits of integration here on the portion that's not yet evaluated. Don't just ignore it. Now, how to tackle this integral. You could utilize long division. Notice we have a rational expression. Degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator. And you don't start thinking about partial fractions or anything until the degree in the denominator is higher. But we don't even really need to long divide. I'll show you a little shortcut you can do. So I'm simply going to add 1 and subtract 1 in the numerator. Watch what that's going to let me do. So scooting down, rewrite everything every step of the way. Don't be sloppy and don't be lazy. That's just not how math works. So 1 half times definite integral from 0 to 1. I'm going to group y squared plus 1, these first two terms, over the 1 plus y squared. And then we have minus 1, so that's this little guy. Mm-hmm over 1 plus y squared dy. And then maybe now you're kind of noticing what we can do. So y squared plus 1 over 1 plus y squared, that's just 1 minus 1 over 1 plus y squared dy. Are we happy with that? I hope you are. We can anti-differentiate 1. That's no big deal. Look at me, rewriting everything every step of the way. Do we know the antiderivative of 1 over 1 plus y squared? Well, you better. It's tan inverse of y. All right, so now we're ready to roll. No u sub, nothing crazy needed. And then what I'm going to do is just write these limits once at the very end, since everything will be anti-differentiated in the next step. So we've got 1 half y squared tan inverse of y minus 1 half so antiderivative of 1 is just y minus antiderivative of 1 plus one, 1 over 1 plus y squared would be tan inverse of y. And then all of this gets evaluated from 0 to 1. See? Beautiful. Let's distribute that negative 1 half through. So 1 half tan inverse of y minus 1 half y plus 1 half tan inverse of y from 0 to 1. Okay, plugging in 1, the upper limit, we're going to have 1 half times 1 squared. Tan inverse of 1, you should know that, pi over 4. If not, you can review your trig in your own little private shame. And then minus 1 half times y, 1 half times 1, plus 1 half times tan inverse of 1, again, pi over 4, minus, and then now lower limit, 0. So 1 half 0 squared, okay, that's going to be 0, minus 1 half times 0, 
plus one half times tan inverse of zero is zero. And let's see, all I have left now is one half times pi over four, so that's pi over eight minus a half plus another pi over eight. Two pi over eight is pi over four minus one half. And that's the integral of the day. Hope you enjoyed it. I, I thought this was a lovely little one. And hope you all have a lovely Saturday. Let me know what you're all up to. And if there's any particular integrals you want to see next, I always am happy to take requests. Okay, guys. Um, check out the rest of my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I have full playlists with video lectures for Calc 1, 2, 3, Pre-Calc, Trig, Statistics, lots of stuff. And then you can catch me on Instagram and TikTok also at Math TV with Professor V. Bye, guys.